Hi, in this tutorial we are going to solve a question related to nucleophilic substitution reactions. The question asks, you are given two nucleophilic substitution reactions. For each reaction, predict the possible substitution product with proper stereochemistry. In order to solve this question, we have to uh, identify what type of nucleophilic substitution reaction uh, might happen with the given reactions. Let's look at the first reaction. In the first reaction we have a substrate and we have a nucleophile and the solvent is water. So uh, we have to identify what kind of substitution reaction might happen here. So as you remember we have SN1 and SN2 reactions. Uh, so we have to decide which reaction will happen here in this first case. Let's look at the substrate. Uh, our substrate is an alkyl iodide. Iodine is the leaving group uh, and we have to identify what kind of substrate is this. If you look at the carbon bearing the leaving group it has one, two and three neighboring carbon or three alkyl groups around it. So this is a tertiary halide tertiary halide and the substrate is tertiary halide it's a hindered uh, substrate and we have a nucleophile here water nucleophile is neutral so it's a weak nucleophile and the solvent is water uh, as uh, this as as a nucleophile uh, so it is a protic solvent so polar protic solvent. So definitely this reaction will undergo SN1 mechanism. The reason tertiary halides react f best or fa fastest in SN1 reactions and uh, poor nucleophiles or neutral nucleophiles or weak nucleophiles are good in SN1 reactions and SN1 reactions are faster in polar protic solvents. So, uh, what's going to happen to this reaction? Basically, here water will act as a nucleophile. It will attack this carbon and will kick iodine, the leaving group, away. Then, uh, later on, uh, the, you know, the added water will lose one hydrogen to a surrounding water molecule and we will generate a neutral alcohol. But you remember, this process will uh, will occur through a carbocation formation and carbocations are planar molecules so nucleophiles may attach itself from both sides of the uh, planar carbocation intermediate then we will get two um, enantiomers uh, provided that we start with a chiral molecule let's look at if this is a chiral molecule yes we have four different groups around this chiral carbon one two three and four so definitely we will form here a, a kind of racemic mixture of uh, the alcohol let's write the product plus this this enantiomer and here we will have the methyl group at the back and the added uh, nucleophile and this is the first molecule and the second molecule will be uh, its enantiomer of this and uh, let's keep the style drawing style the same but let's just switch the groups so we will have two alcohol and uh, but we will get a racemic mixture because this is an SN1 reaction let's move to the second reaction second reaction we have a substrate we have a nucleophile and we have a given solvent here let's look at the substrate the substrate is an alkyl halide and again uh, uh, if we look at the uh, carbon bearing the leaving group it has one two neighboring carbons and for that reason this is a secondary halide and let's look at the nucleophile nucleophile is a very good base hydroxide it's charged and let's look at solvent solvent is DMF dimethyl formamide 
it is an aprotic solvent polar aprotic solvent all the uh, indicators are showing that this reaction might undergo an SN2 mechanism why because uh, in SN2 reactions uh, strong bases or nucleophiles uh, are better and if you use a, a polar uh, aprotic solvent it's also good for uh, SN2 reactions the substrate is not very hindered as a tertiary halide but also it's not very uh, sterically open but uh, other factors like uh, a strong nucleophile and solvent indicates that this is going to be likely an SN2 reaction then in SN2 reactions uh, the uh, stereochemistry or the reaction occurs as inversion of configuration if we have a chiral substrate let's look at uh, whether do we have a uh, whether we have a chiral substrate or not we have a carbon with four different groups definitely this is a chiral uh, substrate and uh, we should uh, get the inverted product so living group will leave and uh, our nucleophile will be added but the stereochemistry should be the opposite so let's keep the same drawing style a wedge and a dash and a uh, hydrogen was uh, uh, behind going uh, inside the paper plane so it should be the opposite then uh, the nucleophile has to be here in the other side okay uh, basically uh, we had uh, two reactions in the first case we decided that this will be likely an SN1 reaction for that reason racemization occurs if we start with a chiral halide and the uh, second reaction we decided that SN2 is more likely to happen and for that reason in SN2 reactions we always get inverted product so we draw here we draw here the inverted product thank you so much for watching